Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Today I'm going to share with you my newly completed album, Enchanted Forest. This is Graphic 45's, um, I don't know what they call it. It's not a collector's edition. Um, they've changed, um, changed it up that you don't get chipboard anymore. So you get um, a 12 by 12 with three images or three copies of each image we offered in the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8. Now for this album, I used one 12 by 12 and two 8 by 8s and that'll be in the description. So again, one 12 by 12, two 8 by 8s. Um, what you see here is a lot of fussy cutting. So I did a frame over a frame and this is from the 8 by 8. I Because you get three copies of each image, it allowed me to fussy cut and pop these elements. And then this element is actually fussy cut from the 12 by 12. So I just wanted to enlarge it and kind of stretch it up over this image. Oops, I need to glue that down. So there is the cover. So this is fussy cut. This is fussy cut. She is fussy cut. And then this is fussy cut. No, oh, by the way, so is the, uh, the soldier here. So there you go. There is the spine. So on the spine, what I did, oh, and by the way, this is two um, levels of chipboard. Um, there is the chipboard that is behind all this, and then I added a second chipboard piece to make the frame. So I just wanna point that out. So there's the chipboard from the cover of the album. And then inside here are two layers. One of them is cut out to have a frame and the other is just the base. And also from this angle, you can kind of see the depth here. And part of the reason why I wanted to do this frame was to put all this fussy cutting below this level. And there's a couple of places I need to pinch down. So it is actually flat except for right here. So if you laid something on top of it, it wouldn't be smashing any of this. So for here, what I did was a single layer of chipboard, black cardstock wrapped, and then I used basically this trim piece from the 12 by 12. So the frame here is done in 12 by 12. Everything on the inside is eight by eight, and then except for this. This is also from the 12 by 12 to create this frame. And then I did the same back here. And um, this is also, I made it a frame. So this is um, set just below the frame. So that's the cover. So there, there was a lot, a uh, lot went into the cover. It's um, different than what I normally do. Okay, on the inside, this is the frame that came from the eight by eight. So I cut the center out and I laid in this card. So it's uh, nicely framed here. And then there's just a couple of, loose ephemera cards. Over here I fussy cut, I'm out of 12 by 12, so I'm gonna show you this picture. So I took this from the 12 by 12 and fussy cut this element out. And I've done a couple of things throughout the album where, and this is from the 12 by 12. This is bigger, so it's a little easier to manage in terms of fussy cutting. Now this was an ephemera card that I fussy cut the inside out of um, so that when you have your photo, it will go inside like this, and then you can just tack that little piece down. Okay, so that's a, a frame uh, over a mat. And then this is just a simple mat over here, and I left this open-ended, again, fussy cut. And this is just another simple card. This was fussy cut from the 12 by 12, so you can slightly tuck behind him. And then down here I embellished with a couple of stamps. Each one of the pages has a large pocket um, which houses um, a very large size mat. And I had enough paper to cover both the front and back of the mat. Okay, page two. This is a fussy cut element. And then this is a fussy cut element. So what I did is I decided to make that interactive. So I'm gonna turn it on its side so you can see it. So as I open this, she shifts to the left. And of course it's not glued down, so you can tuck your photo right behind that. And then this is here for embellishment. This is a twist pop mechanism. The only thing that's really different about it is that I extended the flap. Um, so 
I had more room to do something on either side of the twist pop. So there you go. You've got these uh, two or three by four, I'm not sure, let me, let me check. Yeah, three by four uh, elements to add pictures to. There's a room for a photo over here, and that's why I tucked these in here so you could see. This is fussy cut from the 12 by 12, and then over here is a card with a small pop-up in it. Okay, and it's glued just down here at the edges, so you can nice you can position your photo behind these images. Okay. And then this is the mechanism that I'm using to keep this all closed and there's just more room for photos. So behind this large element, there's a pocket and that's what holds everything closed. Okay, another large photo mat. And then this is sort of the masterpiece in the middle. So this is fussy cut from the 12 by 12 collection. I've got a pocket over here with a nice large insert. And then this is a dimensional piece. Um, and I go over this in the instruction if you're interested in trying to do this. If this is too much for you, um, then what I would recommend is you just make this flat. You can still do the layering, make it flat, and just lay it on your page so that it's not a pop-up. But I kind of like the way it turned out. And I was inspired by another designer. Um, it's a Russian woman, and I'm going to add her link. She actually did an album, and her centerpiece... My centerpiece is very similar to hers, um, so you can see what she's done. She, As far as I can tell, she does not do tutorials, um, and I th I'm not even sure she still does albums, but I'll put a link to her walkthrough for this. It's superb. So, um, yeah, anyways, so there you go. So you still have room for, you know, kind of a signature photo over here. This I went ahead and glued down. But honestly, if I was doing this, I'm going to place pictures. I'd leave that up until I place my photo and then probably put part of that over. And then you got room for a photo over here. <clears throat> Again, another large insert. There we go. Okay, this opens top these are um, little tuck spots and then we've got four small photo slots just added some of the 8x8 eight eight stamps for embellishment it's very small so I don't want to add too much and take up too much photo space okay and then this is uh, the last page which is uh, just a traditional waterfall I have a to, uh, bottom up to for the latch and uh, the nice thing about these these are five by seven so they're larger format and I just added a little embellishment for each one Got the three dots there here and that and then down here on the bottom I put three of the shields okay so there's five five by sevens, and then you've got this piece down here too. So really six five by sevens. This is room for a four by six. And then over here, again, this opens up to a nice uh, six by six photo mat space. So you could put a couple of small ones, some journaling here. It actually holds quite a bit of papers, even though there's not a whole lot of flaps. Um, this adds a lot of room. So even if you want to do four by sixes, you get... Um, you'll get a nice border around each one of them. So that is it for Enchanted Forest. I'm in love with this pattern. <laughs> um, and I had a lot of fun doing this book. It's very different. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is definitely, without a doubt, my favorite page. Um, tons of room for photos, just in the layout, and then also in this little tuck spot. So very fun, um, great theme. And lastly, this is just a great, you know, for a little collage, great space. And then again, this is um, a fussy cut internal frame for a photo. So, yep. Yeah. And again, oh, it opens left and right. There you go. The uh, complete tutorial is available online. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm off to work on my next project, which I honestly don't know what it is. I'll probably catch up with Julie today. 
and figure it out. I may be working on Chabella next. So back soon.